While speaking at the Air, Space, and Cyber Conference, Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin stated that Boeing has started the production of its sixth-generation stealth fighter, the F-47, and the aircraft is expected to conduct its maiden flight in 2028. Previously known as the next-generation air dominance fighter, the F-47 is designed to replace the F-22 Raptor. The aircraft is expected to feature state-of-the-art stealth capabilities, weaponry, and propulsion system, and is anticipated to operate alongside unmanned wingmen known as collaborative combat aircraft. Though very little is known about the F-47, the aircraft is likely to possess a combat radius of over 1,000 nautical miles and a maximum speed of over Mach 2. The U.S. Air Force plans to procure at least 185 F-47 aircraft, and the fighter is expected to offer unprecedented offensive capabilities. Raytheon's advanced electronic warfare prototype has cleared a critical review and has moved closer to its integration onto the U.S. Navy's F-A-18 Hornet aircraft. The review validated the prototype's software performance, integration with flight representative hardware, and alignment with government reference architecture. The Advanced Electronic Warfare System is designed to replace the FA-18's existing electronic warfare suite and features a digital architecture capable of rapid upgrades, integration with other self-protection systems, and enhanced detection and electronic countermeasure performance. The FA-18 Super Hornet is the backbone of the U.S. Navy's carrier-based fighter fleet, and upgrading the aircraft's electronic warfare capabilities is critical for enhancing its survivability in contested environments. The recent review has confirmed that Raytheon's advanced electronic warfare system has the potential to meet all the requirements of the U.S. Navy, and the program is on schedule to meet the Navy's accelerated timelines. Pratt & Whitney has announced the development of a new family of propulsion systems designed specifically to power precision munitions and collaborative combat aircraft. The program is being led by the Gatorworks team and focuses on faster development timelines, affordability, and adaptability. The engines are being designed to generate 500 to 1,800 pounds of thrust and boast of a modular and scalable architecture that enables a single base design to support a diverse array of platforms. A second series of tests is scheduled for early 2026 and will play a crucial role in validating performance benchmarks, materials, and integration features before the engines are cleared for deployment. Pratt & Whitney has confirmed that the engines will be available to domestic as well as international customers. With multiple nations keen to expand the use of unmanned platforms, the program offers a common propulsion system capable of meeting diverse user requirements.